Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, Theco Games. So this is the start of the Ramadan vlog. If you can hear my mum, that's her over there, but yeah, so I wanted to say hi. This is me in my attire. <laughs> I'm currently kitchen duty. We are making snacks. So this is the day before Ramadan, but you know. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Ramadan. Um, right now we're making snacks. Sausage roll, meat pie, yeah, meat pie, fish pie, and spring rolls. And then we've already got the samosas that we didn't make, obviously, but yeah. So right now, currently making the fish pie mixture. So yeah, what should we do that? so guys this was ramadan day one alhamdulillah ramadan day one felt like a breeze it was just amazing um we broke our fast in london around 6 21 i believe and wow look at me knowing the time but anyways i was doing like some admin work and um yeah just um getting on with my day and then obviously i was filling in my um journal i have a digital one and that book and i was also watching some Omar Suleiman, some mufti mink i prayed and after praying then i went to go pick up my parcels from amazon help um i ordered this prayer gown so it's a scarf and a skirt it's a two-piece set so nice i'll link it down below they have different colors and then i also bought this book as well the 99 names of allah obviously i wanted to just get into it more then this is part two of the simple Sira by ustad asim khan that I was also reading as well later on i was making iftar so i was making quick stir fry noodles with vermicelli noodles and um yeah stir fry is very much self-explanatory obviously have your onions your garlic and whatever else you want to add inside of it in your mixture and then obviously once that's all done adding your noodles once you make them and yeah that's pretty much it like so far i think it's easier to just like it that's it's easier for the first day and it's just be something simple and then um i was buying the snacks that i made the day before obviously and um, for my daughter and then my mum also made mono which is basically roi um it's a gambian porridge um but yeah and these were the snacks and yeah day one we legit just had iftar and broke our fast and that's it good morning beautiful people how you guys are well and okay basically i'm at work and um yeah i started my shift i started at 7 45 i came in a bit late <laughs> but anyways um it's 8 25 now and the gym floor is just dead anyways um i'm reading the simple serum i really highly recommend this book this is part two but go ahead and read part one i'll put the links in the bio but um yeah so so far i'm just reading and sitting down before it gets busy because it normally gets busy around like let's say 9 30 to 10 so right now it's like chill time it's like five people on gym floor so it's okay and um yeah i'll show you around what i do anyways 
um yeah so today i want to go to primark so i can at least get a pillow cushions and fairy lights for my prayer corner that i'm making i'll show you guys i'm also gonna make iftar today again because yesterday we just had the leftover iftar from before which was this chicken and stir fry but i had to buy wings because my chicken was finished anyways yeah ignore this room is very much um <laughs> but yeah so that's what i'm doing right now come read with me Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are well in the Guys, I'm in pain, like serious pain. Oh, child. Um, long story short, yesterday from work, as I vlogged for you guys, I, I was fine throughout the working period, etc. But as soon as I finished work, I felt this sudden pain. And I don't know it's because, long story short, I was sleeping one night, or not sleeping, or about to sleep, or whatever. Hold on, let me pause the TV. Okay, now I don't know if you can see me. But as I was saying, I was sleeping, and um, I think I kind of pulled a muscle on my neck. I don't know, I was about to sleep, and I was on my bed, and I kind of pulled a muscle. Long story short, it's been, it was there, it's been there, it's not really been hurting. And then, long to cut a long story short yesterday i think i was doing like um very man manual handling work or man handling work, whatever you want to call it at work um thinking i'm being good samaritan when really and truly i've just set myself up for failure because right now my neck like down here going to like my your shoulder blades seeing like my neck i can't i can just about move it like this to go up, I to go down is a failure, number one. But I just feel like I've done something really bad to it. I don't even know. And I I feel like I'm fasting today, which is the fourth day, but I feel like tomorrow I can't. And that's what's even hurting me the most because Physic, I mean, like internally, or oh, sorry, I, physically, I don't look like someone that doesn't need to fast unless I'm on my period. But I'm not. And what's frustrating me is the fact that because I need to take like maybe painkillers or something. Oh. But again, Alhamdulillah, Allah knows best. Allah knows why this is happening to me. And uh, I'm just gonna power through i've got like about less than an hour now to break my fast and i can't wait to take the pain like with me let's say my pain tolerance is quite high like but this is definitely like it's like someone is like grabbing hold of your spine and pushing it down i don't know how to explain it but it just hurts and the thing is it's just that one area but that one area is affecting my whole being like i can't i couldn't do anything today guys i normally clean on a sunday if you know me i know i would cook right now iftar but i just can't do anything i can't even pick up my quran because of how heavy it is like i just i don't know <sighs> 
gosh. Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are well and okay. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. So yesterday, as you guys saw, I was just, I feel like I can never get away from sirens genuinely. But anyways, um, yeah, I was giving you guys an update yesterday and I was just obviously crying and stuff like that and I was just not with it. Today is Ramadan day five. I made the decision to not fast but at the same time i pray tarawee prayers and obviously my intention is like i still if i can i will but now my decision kind of lies with the doctor um to be fair because i've had suhoor i woke up for suhoor i woke up i just woke up now like properly um, but anyways, um, and I had to hold and I prayed for her, all that stuff. But obviously throughout that, I've, I'm still in pain. Like, it's not like the pain's gone. Even though I've taken painkillers, it's just still not enough, if that makes sense. So I've spoken to two doctors this morning, my phys a physiotherapist and an actual um, A&P, advanced nurse practitioner. And then they both advised, obviously, I take over the counter kind of medicine letters here. But luckily, the AMP has given me an opportunity to go for a physical appointment to go see a doctor, and that's what I'm gonna go do at 12. Hopefully, inshallah, everything goes okay. Like, it's it's terrible right now, and I'm gonna have to take myself really and truly. So, it's in about an hour, um, so I'm just gonna quickly get ready, um, listen to some Quran read some quran i'd even do my morning ad because i feel so so terrible but at the same time allah knows my heart i don't want to cry again why am i crying um and what was i gonna say allah knows best basically and because for example i normally post like ramadan reminders etc or just islamic things on my ramadan diaries private story on snapchat and love yesterday i just wasn't up for it until five times and i was like i'm not giving up because i didn't make a promise to these people but still it just i've been doing it since the start and i've been doing it for a long time now regardless so i was like let me still help people and i did and i got the most loveliest comment this morning saying that like they really appreciate it me posting and that's just made me happy because even though i'm in like pain people are still you know so alhamdulillah like people are still grateful for the things that i post and stuff like that and this is actually making an impact on them and i woke up to that this morning and i'm happy and normally people obviously screenshot and i saw more screenshots today and i was just like oh my god like i can't believe this so i'm very much happy as i'm speaking to you i am in pain i'm not gonna lie but I'm going to have, I figured this is kind of like a pulled muscle or something to do going down my, going down my spine or something like that. So yeah, anyways, I did advise exercising as well, which obviously I'm not going to do any strenuous one. I'm not going to, I can't, I can't even move my neck properly, but I think they mean neck exercises. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. And um, yeah, so if the doctor kind of tells me, listen, I know you want to fast, but no, there's no point. I just wanted to get used to the whole suhoor thing and stuff like that before when I do actually, inshallah, come back to fasting. So yeah, but I've never not taken the decision to not fast, like in general, like apart from my period. So it's a bit disappointing, but hey, again, Allah knows best and Alhamdulillah always. Right, I'm gonna go get ready. I'll give you guys a update later okay guys alhamdulillah i have showered i've got ready i look so weird um i'm legit on my way going now to the doctors guys alhamdulillah i just feel so grateful for the fact that i can um my face looks swollen or is it just me 
anyways um i can i've cleaned up most of my room alhamdulillah yesterday i could not do nothing when i tell you nothing nothing um and i've done my bed everything now i'm gonna go to the doctors i've taken paracetamol just in case she says don't fast but I, either way whether way it works out i don't mind um and um yeah that's it really let me get going because i'm running a bit late so guys i'm back home now um i know i felt a bit better but now the pain basically i feel like it just grows throughout the day and hence why i'm contemplating whether i should fast or not but i mean it's two o'clock now and i've got what like five hours to go there's no point um so i might as well just continue and then obviously if the pain doesn't get better by let's say friday thursday sorry yeah thursday then i'm gonna not fast so basically i uh, sorry by wednesday and then if it doesn't get better than thursday friday i'm not gonna fast because i have work on saturday and if anything i'm gonna have to miss work i went to boots to buy these pads so i'm lying down on them so that they can activate a bit quicker for my back and my shoulders and for my neck and then also i've got ibuprofen as well the max strength i was gonna get the one with codeine but i'm just scared because that word just just even freaks me out but yeah then i went to waitrose and i think that's what's kind of like put me in this position again i did a bit too much so i didn't carry anything heavy it's just yeah my stuff but yeah okay y'all it's hours later what is this i hate extra mess anyways yeah it's hours later and i am making iftar i haven't had to make it start for two days but um yeah so i'm making meatballs i've got some onion stuff here and yeah i'm just not even going to show you the process because i've got one hour till iftar and um yeah but i want to show you guys what i quickly got from urban fruit if you've had the mango one i saw this passion fruit one with mango so i'm like i can't wait to try that like and me if you know me anything mango and passion fruit I am there, especially passion fruit, almonds, just the one pound ones for when I'm having my suhoor. So this can last me maybe like two, four meals, four suhoor meals. Um, and then next I've got the rice chili crackers. Guys, if you've tasted the little ones, anyways, all I'm saying is go and buy this. Hopefully the waitress one is nice, but go to little if not. Then. And I also got prawn gyozas, gyozas, and we call it, um, the dumplings. I love these stuff, like, it's sad that some of these things are not halal, as in, like, obviously they don't have halal things, but obviously the prawn one is, and I can't wait to dig in. I'm just going to put them in my air fryer, because I don't mind it steamed or crunchy, but I'd rather just put it in the air fryer, because my air fryer is my best friend so yeah that's what i'm gonna have to break my actual initial fast and then the meatballs later i fasted for you and i believe in you and i break my fast with your sustenance the thirst has gone and the veins are quenched and the reward is confirmed if allah wills this adhan is brought to you by Orphans in Need, bringing hope to a better tomorrow. What I love watching about this. <clears throat> It's people that you see like crying, sobbing, men that are sobbing and you can, you really can feel the fact that like, you know, they're feeling the Quran in their heart, they're feeling Allah's words. So Alhamdulillah guys, I've had ibuprofen and I feel a bit more mobile. Obviously the pain is still there but I'm definitely feeling mobile. I can even look left, look right but I can still, I know that the pain's still there, like there's still stuff 
Anyways, my meatballs are done. I was just reheating them. This is what they look. So for what I make, linguine pasta over here. And then there's the meatballs looking all juicy. And I had a taste test before when I was actually cooking it because you're allowed to do that whilst fasting. But obviously you don't fully like indulge it. You have to spit it out when you're done. And I'm, I don't have fresh parsley or oregano, so it's going to be like this. So I'm really going to do a little bit. And if I want more, I'll put some more because this always happens to me. I think I made about 10 meatballs. Guys, it tastes so good. Oh my. And now I'm gonna put like this Italian style cheese. Voila. Mm. 